Good morning. It is 6.49 a.m. on Friday, September 9th, 2016. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. So, went to bed early last night. Woke up a little bit feeling like I'm being punished for it. I don't know. I just have a little bit of a headache and uh, still feeling kind of tired. Some of that might just be early morning stuff, though, and perhaps I will feel more energized throughout the day. I mean, I'm sure it's a good thing to have gotten more sleep, uh, no question about it in my mind, really. But uh, at the same time, you know, there's this expectation that you form sometimes, I think, when you're sacrificing time in your evening to go to bed early, that you're like, I better be feeling really good in the morning if I do this. And then if it's not just exactly what you had in mind, it's like, oh, not worth it. I should just stay up forever. That's not how it really works, though. Anyway, um, uh, so yesterday I, oh, quick update, re-Luna and her itchiness. Um, it'll probably take a couple of days for her little uh, bug bites to, you know, go away and stop being so itchy, but uh, I have a little bit of a, uh, antihistamine that I've given her in the past when she used to have allergies more frequently, uh, chlorotrimetol in a vet recommended dose, plus the, uh, the cone to keep her from irritating the, uh, little, little bites further. Um, uh, you know, did laundry and so on to make sure that I don't have, uh, lingering bugs around. So hopefully we're, we're getting there. She's still feeling kind of itchy right now, but improving the situation, doing what we need to do. Um, so as I've talked about a couple of times, one of the things that I'm really interested in recently is like tabletop RPG games. And in particular, the idea of being a dungeon master for one, this is something I'm continuing to think about, think on and develop. Um, I bought a couple of, uh, fancy books. Um, for example, this is the D and D player's handbook. You can see it's hardcover and and uh, it's it's got tiny print too. Like if you, if you look, it's so there's a lot of content in in this book. And uh, I also got the Dungeon Master's Guide. Uh, and just reading through these, and it, one of the things that's really fascinating reading about it is just you know how complex it is, and that appeals to the you know the engineer in me that likes systems, uh, complex systems with lots of moving parts that can enter, connect, and uh, react in different combinations. I think that's kind of exciting. I mean, I always knew that the game was complex. I mean, that's almost part of its appeal, right? I mean, I think that there's an element where if you become an expert in the game, the idea is that you know stuff that not everybody knows. Like, that's part of what's interesting about it right like as a hobby versus just something that you enjoy playing but from the outside it can just all seem a little bit inscrutable you hear lots of terminology like saving throws and constitution modifiers and so on like that and uh, without actually kind of reading up on the rules all of that can kind of turn into you know just uh, meaningless jargon some of it, you know, if you've played various video game RPGs, you pick up bits and pieces of it around the edges. And then, of course, there's lots of different systems, uh, like the Cypher system is one that I've seen um, recently, Fate system, you know, that all have their own different rules and different terminology that are, a lot of them are, you know, variations on the same sorts of things, but... Uh, Certainly, uh, in reading through this D and D one, it's you know it's 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 a focus on, you know, D and D like fantasy type settings, and uh, you know really doing a deep dive into uh, the specific classes that are presented, and uh, it's kind of cool to read all about it. I'm interested. 
Uh, so I'm going to be pursuing more of this. There's not really anything else to report in the meantime on that subject, uh, except that I'm finding as I scratch the surface of this thing that I'm enjoying what I find and uh, plan to continue digging further. Uh, in the meantime, I'm glad it's Friday. You know, uh, like I said, I have a little bit of a headache this morning. Maybe take some Advil. Uh, but, uh, you know, made it through. It was a, sh a shorter week for me since I had Monday and Tuesday off. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I still am needing a weekend. Anyway, I will talk to you guys tomorrow for five more minutes.